Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So let's talk for a minute. It's been a hot minute since I filmed an update. And honestly, a lot has changed. As you're watching this, I'm currently on holiday and I won't be answering comments until I get back on the 9th. I think it's the 9th anyway. Let me have a look. Let me check. Yeah, the 9th, I'm coming home. I'm taking a week off YouTube. I'm filming my holiday and I will put that vlog up on the you're aware, in July I got diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, bipolar type. I honestly don't know how I feel about it. Like yes, it, the diagnosis makes sense. It also covers a lot of other mental illnesses. The way my psychiatrist explained it is, it's basically a collection of every biological mental illness. So you have dissociation, Anxiety, depression. Honestly, yeah, my anxiety at the minute is out of control. I went out today to post Alana a little gift. I say little gift. I gave her my old switch because I I had a switch light first, then I got a switch OLED, so I gave her the switch light. That's on the way to her. I got her a calm Alana. I got a one of these which is supposed to help with anxiety basically breathe through it and it's supposed to really help it's on a necklace so it goes around your neck I got a set of two, so I sent Alana one because I know she struggles with her anxiety. I'm just in a bit of a weird headspace at the moment where I don't really know what I want to do because I finished university. So that's done. Currently, I claim PIP in Universal Credit. Um. I'm applying for jobs, but a lot of them require you to have a car. I don't have a driving license because of my medication. I can't drive. And some of them are jobs that I would love to do, like nighttime support worker, for instance. I'd love to do that, but I can't because of my medication. The medication I take at night knocks me out. So does that. I don't know, mental illness just makes it so hard to work. I, I can't I can't join the police because I failed the fitness test. I guess it's just the way things are. Back on the subject of schizoaffective disorder, I hate that I can't predict an episode. I can never tell when I'm triggered if I'm going to go manic, hypermanic, or into depression. So that sucks because you never know what you're going to go through. But honestly, the big thing that's bothering me at the moment is not having any friends around. Like my friends are Alana, who lives in Australia, which is the other side of the world. So our time zone difference is basically basically we have a three hour window in the morning for me, night time for her, where we're both awake, which is when we video chat. I just I feel so lost. I've started doing my makeup every day, which as you can see my eyeliner 
has improved. I'm using the gel eyeliner now and it's so much better. And for mascara I'm using the Too Faced Down Girl mascara. I love it, it's my second one of it. I absolutely love it. And I'm using Charlotte Tilbury foundation and Urban Decay concealer and NARS lipsticks. When I wear eyeshadow I use Urban Decay or Too Faced. My highlighter is Bojoris or I've got another one that's I can't remember the brand of it and it's worn off the, it's the thing or my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder highlighter people probably think I spend loads of money on makeup I get them at a discounted prices so I, I've just accumulated them over the years The newest thing that I bought was the Charlotte Tilbury foundation and the Too Faced Damn Girl mascara. Like my eyeliner's L'Oreal, which is about six pound. So I don't spend. I don't, I'm not spending all my money on makeup. Before people start panicking with what I'm spending my pip on. So yeah, if you've got any video requests, please leave them in the comments down below. Any questions, comment down below or head over to my Instagram and share in one of my stories your question because that's where I go for my Q&A questions and yeah I hope you're doing okay and if you're not I hope your day gets better thanks for watching and I'll see you in a new video peace